Hi there, this is Richard Walker from Lucidate, and welcome to this second episode in this video series on the evolution of neural architectures. Here, we'll continue our discussion on recurrent neural networks as we take the journey from Elman models to long short-term memory, or LSTM networks. In this discussion, we'll explore the shortcomings of Elman networks, how LSTMs address these issues, practical applications of LSTMs, and then finally, the limitations of long short-term memory networks that paved the way for transformers. Let's start by reviewing Elman networks, introduced by Jeff Elman in 1990. Elman models are a type of recurrent neural network which are designed to handle sequential data. They consist of an input layer, hidden layers, and an output layer, with feedback connections within the hidden layers. This feedback loop allows the network to form a kind of memory. Unlike simple feedforward networks, the Elman model isn't simply relying on the input data as it makes its predictions. The memory contains information from all the prior inputs. This memory is what makes it suitable for tasks involving sequences. Despite their innovation, Elman networks had a few significant shortcomings. Firstly, the vanishing or exploding gradients problem. As the network learns, the inherent feedback loops generate gradients that can become too small or too large, impeding learning. The problem with feedback is that it's inherently unstable. If you keep multiplying a number by itself enough times, it either goes to zero, if it's less than one, or to infinity, if it's greater than one. This problem is particularly severe in deep networks or when dealing with long sequences. Secondly, difficulty in capturing long-range dependencies. Due to gradually fading memory, Elman networks struggle to maintain information from much earlier time steps, making it hard to learn dependencies between distant elements in a sequence. To tackle these issues, Hock Reiter and Schmidt Huber introduced long short-term memory networks in 1997. LSTMs are a kind of recurrent neural network that can learn long-range dependencies much more effectively than traditional RNNs. The key innovation in LSTMs is the introduction of a memory cell, which allows the network to store and access information over long timescales. At the core of the LSTM network is the memory cell, which is a kind of container that can store information over a long period of time. Let's pick it apart step by step to gain an intuition of how it works. Please pause and ponder and rewind the video to make sure you get what's going on at each step. Keep in mind the motivation here is to stop the vanishing and exploding gradients problem, as well as to ensure that the cell has a sufficient long-term memory. The memory cell has three gates, forget, input, and output. These gates control the flow of information into and out of the cell, and they're regulated by sigmoid activation functions. Recall sigmoid functions return a value between zero and one. In addition to these three gates, there are two other key components in the LSTM architecture, the input modulation and the cell state update. These both contain the hyperbolic tangent or TANH activation functions. Recall that these return a value between minus one and plus one. So the forget gate determines which information should be discarded from the memory cell. It takes as input the previous hidden state and the current input. It passes them through a sigmoid and therefore outputs a value between zero and one for each element of the memory cell. A value of zero means that the information should be completely forgotten, while a value of one means that the information should be fully retained. The input gate determines which new information should be added to the memory cell. It takes as input the previous hidden state and the current input. It passes them again through a sigmoid and outputs a value between zero and one for each element of the memory cell. This value is called the input gate activation. 
The input gate activation is then multiplied by the candidate values that are created by a tan h activation function in the input modulation. The candidate values are potential new information that could be added to the memory cell. The output gate determines which information should be output from the memory cell. It takes as input the previous hidden state and the current input, as well as the current candidate values that have been added to the memory cell. These inputs are passed through a sigmoid to obtain an output gate activation value between 0 and 1 for each element of the memory cell. The output gate activation is then multiplied by the output of the tan h activation in the cell state update function, producing the final output of the LSTM cell. LSTMs have been deployed in various real world applications, showcasing their power and versatility. Language modeling. Google's Smart Compose, launched in 2018, uses LSTMs to suggest completions for sentences as users type emails, making the writing process faster and more efficient. Machine translation. Google Translate adopted LSTMs as far back as 2016 to improve translation quality. The LSTMs enabled the system to better handle long sequences and complex grammatical structures. Thirdly, handwriting recognition. LSTMs have been used to recognize handwritten text as demonstrated by the IAM Handwriting Database. Researchers achieved state-of-the-art results as far back as 2009 using LSTMs to transcribe handwritten documents. Fourthly, speech recognition. Apple's Siri adopted LSTMs in 2015 to enhance speech recognition capabilities. LSTMs helped improve the accuracy of Siri's voice recognition, especially in noisy environments. And time series forecasting. LSTMs are used to predict the electricity consumption of a household, demonstrating their effectiveness in modeling and forecasting time series data. LSTMs have also been extensively used in capital markets for credit scoring, where they analyze past credit history and other information to predict the likelihood of default by a borrower. Portfolio management, where LSTMs have been used to predict the performance of assets and portfolios, aiding portfolio managers in making investment decisions. For example, LSTMs have been used to predict the price movements of stocks and bonds and to identify undervalued assets. Despite their success, LSTMs have some limitations. Firstly, sequential computation. LSTMs process input sequences one element at a time, making them inherently slow and difficult to parallelize when training. Secondly, limited ability to model very long range dependencies. Although LSTMs do address the vanishing and exploding gradient problem to some extent, they can still struggle with capturing very, very long range dependencies or complex hierarchical structures. To address these limitations, researchers introduced a new architecture called the Transformer in the 2017 paper, Attention is All You Need by the Swani et al. Transformers replaced the recurrent structure of LSTMs with a self-attention mechanism, which allows the model to weigh the importance of each element in the input sequence relative to every other element. Transformers provide many advantages over LSTMs, including parallelization, handling long-range dependencies, and scalability. We'll discuss Transformers and these advantages in the next video. In conclusion, the evolution of neural networks from Elman models to LSTMs represents a significant leap forward in our ability to model and process sequential data. By addressing the shortcomings of Elman network, LSTMs have found success in numerous real-world applications from language modeling to time series forecasting. However, the emergence of transformers has pushed the boundaries even further, offering improved parallelization, scalability, and performance on a wide range of tasks. As neural network architectures continue to evolve, we can expect even more powerful models and applications in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to Lucidate's channel for more videos on the exciting and evolving field of artificial intelligence. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.